This is my vlog camera and I really love it. It's a really good picture quality and audio quality, as you can tell in this video, I think. And I only spent 800 US dollars. I think it's cheaper now and I can assure you that if you want a solid upgrade from this, you need to prepare at least 5,000 US dollars. So it's a great, great camera for daily vlog. Here's the problem. Like many complaints about the width of this lens is not wide enough because you don't want sometimes your audience just see your big, big head. You want to cover the background information as much as possible. And when you're shooting 4K with camera stabilization, there's even a crop on your image. So sometimes it's not good for daily vlog. And yeah, that's a good problem to resolve. Yeah, this is my first tryout. It's called a uh, wide lens module for a Sony ZV-1. As you can see, basically you just attach this lens to your Sony ZV-1 so it will look wider, right? But the problem here is since it's not an official lens, you need a double-sided tape to attach this to camera, which is absolutely not stable. So I use Gorilla Glues to attach this two together but it's not very good since you can see there are a lot of residues of this glue I mean maybe this is doable but not for me since I'm not a good handyman if you can apply the glue really precisely maybe you can give it a try but don't do it at home we'll go to the bank first and then to the campus let's do it oh shit I mean, like for now, I do think the width is not enough. I want you to see more, like the skateboard. A few inches later I cannot deposit this a hundred. Useless. Next up, the campus. Now I'm here to return my camera. Yeah, I have to admit that ZV-1 is not good for food vlogs since you can never put your food and your face in the same frame. Never. The battery is exhausted, so I'm using my iPhone now. And this Sunday is my service. Yeah, I lead a worship team. So we're going to practice. Ready for somebody to pick me up?
This is also from GoPro. Yeah, it's mask grip and tripod, like this. It's of unibody design, so really solid, like this. But there's also a thing here as the adapter of GoPro Max. It's a little bit different than GoPro Hero series, I think. So it's really, really tight, so I use a hammer to help it, but still, but still those two holes are not in line, so I cannot use a screw so far, but right now it's really, really tight. Basically, I cannot move it. Logically thinking, it's really safe now, but without a screw, I always feel weird. So I'm thinking if there's a way to... Also, I don't want to break it, you know. Okay, I gave up. It's really, really tight. I think it's no big deal. And I really don't want to break this adapter, so I need to buy a new grip. No, I don't want to do that. So, and friendly reminder, you need a ball head on it. Since on this kind of screw, you cannot assure every time you screw your vlog camera, it face toward the same direction. It's not the case, so you need a ball head to adjust. So, right now I'm just detaching. Yeah, it's something like this. Yeah, I'm really satisfied with the final result. As you can see my t-shirt pattern. I think you cannot uh, before with Joby Gorilla Pod. And this grip is actually pretty cheap. I think you can spend on $20 on this or you can have a similar product too. For example, GoPro, they have a L Grand. It's like maybe double this lens, like really, really, really long, but I don't think I really need that, you know. This one works for me. Yeah, so far so good and problem resolved. Nice weekend guys.